Next one is exercise number 8 Development of the solid First question is a cone of base 80 mm diameter and height 150 mm To draw the development of the cone we need slant height So to get the slant height I am going to draw the front view and the top view of the cone Cone base diameter is given at 80 mm and height 150 mm so first I am going to draw a circle of diameter 80 mm. I select circle, center diameter option. Then for center point I give a click on the screen. Then I type 80 and give enter. Then I draw a horizontal line. Then select line command. Then I extend this quadrant point above the horizontal line and also this quadrant point above the horizontal line. Then I am going to trim the these two lines. And also I am going to extend a line from the center of the circle and uh, I trim this line then from the center line I draw a 150 mm line then join these two points you get the cone front view so select dimension aligned option then dimension this line you get the slant height the slant height is 150 mm so for cone you need to find the angle to find the angle the formula is theta is equal to r by l into 360 so r is the radius of the base the diameter of the base is given as 80 mm so radius is 40 mm so 40 by L slant height so the slant height is 155 mm into 360 you get approximately 93 degree so for 93 degree I am going to draw lines so first I am going to draw a horizontal line of length 155 mm next select line command give select this as start point then type at 155 angle 93 in the command line and give enter then select the arc option start center end option so give this point as start and uh, this point as center and uh, this point as end point then go to dimension option choose angular select these two lines and uh, dimension the angle 93 degree so this is the development of the cone next uh, i am going to draw the development of the cylinder base is 80 mm and the height is 150 mm so to draw the development of the cylinder you need to find the circumference of the cylinder circle so the circumference formula is 2 pi r so 2 into pi into radius is 40 diameter is 80 mm so radius is 40 mm so approximately you get a 251 so select line command Give first point here, then move horizontally, then type 251, then select line command, select this end point and move vertically upwards and give 150. This 150 is height of the cylinder. Then again move this side, then type 151, then again move vertically downwards, then give 150. So this is the 
development of the cylinder. Next day, I am going to draw the development of the hexagonal prism. The base side is 40 mm and the height is 150 mm. So select line command, draw a line for 150 mm. Then hexagon prism, we have six face. So I am going to offset this line for distance of 40 because base side is 40 mm. So I select this line and I place here. Then I select this line and place here. Then similarly, you offset to get six phase one, two, three, four, five, six phase. Then give escape. Select line command and join the top end and also join the bottom end. So if you dimension by using linear, this end point should be 240 mm because one side is 40 mm, we have six sides, so 6 into 40 we get 240. Similarly, for cylinder, this length should be 251, that is a circumference of the base circle. Next, I am going to draw the pentagonal pyramid development base side is 150 50 and uh, height is 150 so we need slant height the slant height for the pentagonal pyramid also 155 mm so if you draw the front view and the top view of the pentagonal pyramid then you get the slant height as 155 mm so slant height value is 155 so Take that 155 value as radius and draw a circle. So go to circle option, select center radius, then draw a circle for a radius 155 mm. Then select line command and join the center point and the right quadrant point. Then select center radius. The pentagonal pyramid base side is 50 mm. So take that 50 mm as radius. So click this as center point, then draw a circle for 50. Then again select center radius and take this as center and draw a circle for 50. Similarly, you need to draw four circle. Then by using line command, you join these points. Continuously you join this point by using a line command. Then you delete the circle. Then by using the line command, you join the endpoints of the line. So since it is a pentagonal pyramid, we have five phase here. One, two, three, four, five. And each phase value should be so select dimension aligned option and check the side is 50 so this is the development of cone cylinder hexagonal prism and a pentagonal pyramid thank you